Good morning, William Penn. We're back here again with another episode of our William Penn Rap Sheet. This time we are talking to our new sixth grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Horning. Welcome to the program. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? It's good stuff. You know, I had about five cups of coffee before we started, so I'm all fired up, ready to go. Um, before you came to William Penn this year, where were you teaching? What kind of environment or, or were you teaching in another building? Uh, what brought you to us at William Penn? I was actually a math and reading Title I teacher at Fallsington. And before that, I taught third grade for six years in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you, you said you said third grade, right? So this is your first like middle school experience. Yes, this is. I really wanted to use that certification because that elementary, that K to five, I never felt like I really got to utilize all of it because most districts in our area are the K to five setting, not K to six. And I really yeah. wanted a little bit of a change. So this has been really exciting for me. That is an interesting dynamic with the elementary school to the middle school. Most of the schools in the area have sixth grade in the in the elementary school. You got that junior high kind of look. But then that's the good thing is you're certified for everything in, yeah. in middle school. So you're an expert in everything. One would think. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're talking about school and about what it is that you teach and, and how much you enjoy that. But what are things you like to do outside of school? Uh, we had our last person he likes to investigate aliens in space or at least that's the way i read into it uh what are some things that you like to do in your free time all right aliens is definitely not my thing i probably would not sleep for days i love to bake love to bake sweet treats are my thing so with that comes exercise i'm really big on exercise so I like, what's your favorite thing to bake if you could bake one thing if I put you in an FCS class and you're like, this is my money move, this is my money thing, what is it? Oatmeal raisin cookies. The most underrated cookie in the entire world. Joey D, our band director, he's out there somewhere smiling because we talk about it all the time. Chocolate chip gets all the love, but the oatmeal raisin cookie, a fantastic call. Yes, probably, probably my favorite and my best. Good. I'm so I'm so happy about that. And you know what? It's the perfect transition to our general knowledge trivia question for the day. And this is a good one. This is a good one. And it's perfect for the subject of eating and baking. Are you ready for your general knowledge question? All right. I think so. All right. Here we go. In a grown, a grown up, a grown up adult human, how many teeth are in the mouth of a grown up human? 32. 32! What a call! What an amazing call by you. 32. There's going to be people out there who are going to talk about the wisdom teeth. Do we count those? We're counting them. So there you go. 32. What a pull. Fantastic by you. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I'm going to tell everybody else I record with today that you nailed the general knowledge question. We're going to the lightning round. This is quick. We're going to move through these quickly. Unless you give me an amazing film or an amazing book, or you say you love country music, in which case we will riff on the terribleness of uh, country music for a while. Ready? Lightning okay. round style. Favorite movie? Go. Favorite movie is The Dark Knight. Ooh. Favorite book? Uh, Charlotte's Web. Good call. Color? Green. Favorite subject in school, in high school? Language arts. Good stuff. And favorite kind of music? Uh, rap and piano rock. Like very, I, I'm, more, I'm more artist. Like I have a very wide palette for music. I like artists more than a genre. So like, for example, Billy Joel, Tom Petty are my top favorite artists. But then I could do a five mile run to Drake. So there's that's that. what it's all about. It's you got to find the music that fits them. You can't listen to Tom Petty when you're on mile three. Nope. It's not going to jet, but Drake is the perfect workout mix. I love, hey, it's perfect. Dark Knight, you caught me by surprise a little bit. That's a more modern movie. Usually we get older movies for our favorite movies, but I'm happy about that. Yeah, I mean, I get like music, movies change for me. If you want to go old school, Homeward Bound. Crying. I'm crying right now. Hold right? The 
I can't even talk about it. If a dog is in it, I already, I, when, the minute I see a dog, I'm like, I got it. I can't watch this movie. I can't watch this movie. Uh, we could go all day with this conversation. Thank you for taking uh, the time out to introduce yourself to the building. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks for having me. Yep.